As I was alluding to in the data core video, I really do believe Gasworks in his opposing force is like a whole new level of like de like Half Life Deathmatch and like opposing force deathmatch. This is one of my absolute favorite uh, maps across both games. Like I already liked it in Half Life Deathmatch, and I especially liked it in Team Fortress Classic. As a little aside, it works great there. Um, this is yet another time where it just what the changes to the weapon layout and things like that just add a whole new level to like you know the strategy and like the just the mischief you can cause um but you know i could dwell like talk about it for another 20 minutes but hey let's just actually go check it out so this one actually got some in the map itself like the genre just saying but you're gonna notice right away if you played the original version enough you'll notice that it's actually significantly brighter actually throughout the hallways here which, most of the time, I would say I'm not in favor of, but for, like, a fast-paid deathmatch game like this, uh, it's probably for the best, so I would say that's actually a positive. Anyway, so if you start in these corridors here, grab the submachine gun, um, but first, though, before we talk any more about the interior, let's talk about the exterior. I don't believe it's brighter out here, because there wouldn't really be much need for. Um, but you're gonna see right away where it is in... Half-Life Deathmatch itself, normally I, rec I I said eight people was like kind of my limit for this map. Um, I don't know if it's just the like stronger weapons, you know, making it like, you know, so people get spread out faster because they like, you know, they're more likely to die. But I'd say go up to 16 in the Imposing Force version here. I, it's just it's something I can't really explain. So yeah, if you like go near these cr shipping crates, you can get a, a shotgun and some health if you need it. Um, I don't know, or maybe that was an SMG. Yeah, it's an SMG. I really just wish it wasn't a shotgun for some reason. I don't know why. Um, you're gonna notice something unique about this map, though. Besides the fact that, not the, the fact that that Magnum's here. Go down, if you need to get down to the lower levels, you got some options. You can go in there, there, down there. Um, but it, it's one of those things I kind of alluded to. That I like that whoever was responsible for the, uh, conversion of boot camp into Imposing Force used up some like empty space in the map geometry this map kind of does that here too on the outside area i'll show that in more depth when i get to it uh but yeah here's a good sniping video of uh, area of course either for the magnum or the revolver which i don't even think the revolver's on this map i just I keep assuming it is the sniper i believe is in this area though it's obviously somewhere here. no it's actually no the sniper's in it's a little bit weird the sniper's here somewhere then you had to bring it over here but it's still good to snipe here and plus two as you'll see with these little spore things here the barnacles in this map so you got some ways to get around real fast doesn't matter though because you know if you got the rocket launcher use it well in this building like hide strategically and you'll do just fine or with any weapon really so let's go back over here get some more machine gun ammo and that's where we came up earlier so as i climb this i'll show you what i mean on these crates now, there wasn't anything on this one here, as far as I'm aware last time. They added in a shock uh, roach, though. Which is fun. I love that. Um, and obviously, like, these, um, these, uh, little, like, walkways are still great. I don't need to tell you that, though, especially if you got the sniper rifle, which I believe sniper rifle might actually be up here. Gauze is still over there. Grab the gauze always, of course, too. Yeah, here it is. So, obviously, you're gonna be raining some hard death onto people with this. Once you have it up here, but even then you got some options. You can keep sniping up here in the open, or you can start running over there and try to snipe from inside there, or hell, anywhere, really. This thing's a fucking beast regardless. You know, so, you know, it's really, there's really a, never a bad time to be using the sniper rifle in this game. Let's just be real. But yeah, let's go grab the, gu the uh, gauze for posterity's sake, though. And that's what I mean, too. Look at that. There was nothing on the building normally. But whoever did, was working on this decided to add in some stuff so you can gauze up, to, jump up to there and grab it. It's a nice little addition. And I mean, it's fun, because now you can just, like, kind of be up here being an asshole. That's always some good time guaranteed for all. So let's check out the center building here. We'll go down here soon. Not too much changed in here. You got the knife in the window, as is always good. It's stuck. That's still my favorite thing. And I, I forgot to bring it up earlier. There's uh, some ammo there. But if you were to climb, uh, walk back down up to here, um, there is the, um, not up here, it's somewhere. Oh yeah, if you can get on the roof here, 
you can get some health. And there's also the uh, wrench up here, so that's good. So let's go back down real quick now. You got the crossbow here, so you got options for sniping too. I actually forgot the crossbow is here. So, yeah, same thing, you can snipe from here. You can use any combination of the crossbow and sniper, really, and move around the interior. And if you're playing with few people, if you're a like, good sniper, you basically dominated the whole map. This It was always kind of a sniper-heavy map anyway. It was kind of made to be, but it's even more so now. And if we take this little shuttle here, you're going to see something cool. The particle is down here now. So there's even there's more incentive to actually try to take this little route here. I like it. So you have more brighten up corridors. Grab the satchels there. You can get the um, spawn uh, spore launcher here. Alongside grabbing an SMG if you needed some health. And let's explore these corridors a little bit. You got another wrench, some more ammo. And that obviously leads up to that other pathway from earlier. That other ladder. Get the clay, the sat the claymores. Uh, well, I'm going to talk about the center area here last. Because there's actually quite a bit to unwrap there. There always was, but you did even more so now. So yeah, obviously if you come down here, you can get the fucking displacer. Because I don't even think there was a weapon here normally. But you can use that to teleport. And obviously, you know, it's not as good as the snipers. But a few uh, good shots of the displacer is probably going to brighten up your day. And probably destroy everyone else. Because that tends to be the case when you're shot by this thing. But yeah, let's go back down real quick. I'll just take this way. And the cool thing is, I didn't even notice, you can particle your way out of this too. So, like, that's what I mean. It's just, like, the particle adds so much sometimes instead of these maps. It's ridiculous. Especially this one. So, if you wanted to not take that teleporter, you can go to this little side area, of course. Um, and I'm gonna bring it up. Uh, if you know there's a lot of people in the water, use this for some nice easy kills. Because it's gonna kill everyone in the water if you fire it in there. And if you have the barnacle, you could barnacle all the way from here. Or, like, over there. Or you can even get from here. It's just the options that you have now are fucking nuts. So yeah, get charged up if you want. Get some ammo. Now. Let's go back in here. Not much, uh, I don't think they added in any new items per se in the water down here. Maybe on the side you can get some machine gun ammo, but I think that's about it. So, I don't think there's any real else to... Oh, hold here. Oh, hold on. I always forget about this one. No new weapon. Oh, no. This is where you get the long jump. Never mind. I forgot about that completely. And you can use that to teleport up to this area if you so choose. Especially if you have some of the stronger weapons of the snipers. That could be a good little thing to take advantage of. But let's check out the center area now. So in the center area, the towers, if you will, you got this top part where you get the crossbow. Again, take advantage of the snipers. You can crawl around. That leads to that. Uh, we've already been over here. It's just that other kind of high up area from earlier with the sat. Yeah, see? There you go. Um, let's go down a level, though. So, yeah, you can use the ladders, obviously, to get around. You don't need to take the hallways. If you're up here, um, there's not much. You can get the gauze here, but there's not much in terms of ammo, so be careful. Well, I say that, and I forgot that these were here, so... Well, not much in terms of ammo for your other weapon, so if you don't happen to have the gauze, be careful. Get an SMG if you don't have it, though. And on to the other little area, which is only on these two towers, I, I always forget. You get some tra chargers, you get, you use this to uh, barnacle up if you need and grab a magnum. And uh, yeah, I think there's this little side area here I forgot to bring up. Using my nerfed ass gauze jump there, you get the rocket launcher, always a good a pick, Never, you can't go wrong there. And uh, yeah, you also get some... Um, more spore things, but, and he, obviously if you can see him from there, you can use him to barnacle in, but I think that might be a little too hard. And, uh, yeah, I think that's really it. Uh, you know, I just think that, you know, they took an already pretty good, great map and made it absolutely phenomenal. So I actually think this map is better in both this game and Team Fortress Classic than it is in its, like, you know, original, like, home of Half-Life. Which may be surprising, maybe it isn't, I don't know. Take your pick. Come on, I'm coming to get you. You made a big mistake, my friend. I'm gonna fucking whack your shit. Come on, we got this. Oh my god, I'm my aim is terrible. I've been dishonored. What's going on? Oh, at least I got Mario. Revenge. Oh, brutality. Christ Almighty. Doom guy, how dare you? 
I, I have no idea what's going on anymore. Yeah. You can't run! Oh man, I got him through the water there. Did you see that? Sick, bruh. Well, you know, I obviously gotta do so do this. You know, I bring it up er during the like, you know, kind of preview of the map. Oh, it's so good. I mean, obviously try to do it when there's like more than three people. Or three or more. Obviously, if you do it with just one, it can't, like, you don't gain anything from it, so. I like the irony of killing the heavy weapons guy with the machine gun. It tickles me! Oh, that, that's, oh, okay, that sniper. Don't you dare grab that, uh, like, uh, sniper rifle, Neko, or Chaos. Me and Jeff actually played that last night, uh, the Steam version of Melty Blood. Like, at Cadenza. Uh, I was too tired to record it, though. He was pretty tired, too, so, you know, it would have been kind of a nothing burger. But we had fun. That's what's important. I gotta eat ya! Oh, it's so much fun to do that to people. Oh, I think that was a headshot. Mm. Oh, again! And I love that pose. Anyway, uh, yeah, Gasworks. You should be playing this right now instead of doing whatever it is you're doing. Like, watching this video.